With just 90 days left until the 2024 presidential election, Vice President Kamala Harris has picked Minnesota Governor Tim Walz as her running mate. This decision came shortly after President Joe Biden withdrew from the race and endorsed Harris. The choice of Walz has led to a flurry of polls trying to assess how this will affect Harris' chances against former President Donald Trump. Recent polls show Harris slightly ahead of Trump, but the margins are slim. A CBS News poll released on Sunday shows Harris leading Trump by just one point, thanks to strong support from younger voters, black voters, and women. Similarly, a New York Times poll also puts Harris one point ahead, showing significant gains since her candidacy became official. The Morning Consult poll, released Monday, shows Harris with a slightly larger lead, polling at 48% compared to Trump's 44%. This is the third week in a row that this poll has shown Harris ahead. Additionally, 5% of voters said they would vote for someone else, and 4% were undecided. An NPR PBS News Marist National poll shows Harris leading Trump by three points, with Harris at 51% and Trump at 48%. Among independent voters, Harris leads by a wider margin, 53% to 44%. However, Trump still leads in some polls. The July Harvard Caps Harris poll showed Trump ahead by four points, and a Wall Street Journal poll taken right after Biden's withdrawal had Trump leading 49% to 47%. Real Clear Politics, which averages data from 11 major polls, gives Harris a slight lead of 0.5%, highlighting tight races in battleground states like Georgia, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Tim Walz's selection as Harris running mate has received mixed reactions. Before this, Walls was relatively unknown outside of Minnesota, but now his record and history are under scrutiny. At a rally, Harris praised Walls's progressive policies, highlighting his work on women's reproductive rights, middle-class tax cuts, expanding paid leave, and establishing free school meals. However, an NPR PBS News Marist survey found that nearly three-quarters of voters didn't know enough about Walls to form an opinion, with only 17% viewing him positively and 12% unfavorably. Walls's Midwestern roots and background as a high school teacher, football coach, and military veteran are seen as positive traits that could appeal to voters. His position as a gun owner who supports stricter regulation might also attract moderate voters. Support for Walls is growing on social media, particularly among young voters, after a viral clip where he criticized Trump and Senator J.D. Vance, calling them, weird people. In contrast, Trump's running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, is better known nationally. Vance gained fame with his 2016 bestseller, Hillbilly Elegy, and its film adaptation. An NPR PBS News Marist survey shows 34% of respondents view Vance favorably, while 43% view him unfavorably. Negative perceptions of Vance have increased recently, partly due to controversial comments he made in a 2021 Fox News interview. Polling on Vance reveals a gender divide, a YouGov The Economist poll shows 45% of men view him favorably compared to 34% of women. Additionally, only 30% of registered voters believe Vance is qualified to serve as president, while 45% disagree. As the campaign progresses, the impact of Harris' choice of walls and the dynamics between the two tickets will continue to evolve. Voter opinions are likely to shift in response to the campaign's and new information.